buddy. Remember those? All those twisted rafters I couldn't use in that timber frame barn? Well, they're still laying there, just waiting to be used for something. Turns out I need to build a shelter. And so, what I can do is I can use these for the poles for that shelter. And the way they're twisted, they're corkscrewed, kind of only the way timbers twist is they corkscrew but you can kind of even out one end and there's a twist on the other well it turns out because they're so long that I can bury almost all of the twist in the ground and what's left sticking out of the ground is going to be pretty straight which is super cool now I don't have to go to the store and spend 300 bucks on pressure treated poles because I've already got all these laying here the only problem is they're just standard ponderosa pine and so what we're going to have to do is figure out a way to treat them so I can get them in the ground and use them so they won't rot. And so that's what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to pressure treat your own posts um, or a standard pine post or a hardwood post for that matter by yourself that you can use that the treatment works. The old ranchers have been doing this for hundreds of years, actually probably still are still doing it. And so that's what we're going to do next, should be pretty fun. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> three of these posts over here, and we're going to start pressure treating these posts, quote unquote, pressure treating them, or at least waterproofing them so we can get them in the ground. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to take a torch and we're going to burn the end grain on the very bottom of the post. We could torch all the way up the post to where it's going to be in the ground, and the charring of the wood changes the molecular structure of the wood. So that's why if you char wood like Sosujiban and then heavy brush it off, uh, the texture you get looks a lot like old barn wood. Well, that mimics weathering, which um, over time the sap wood disappears. You can do that and char these and that would help um, them resist rot when they go in the ground but we're also going to coat them with a mixture of used motor oil and diesel fuel um, this is just a spot treatment we're not broadcasting it on the ground and we're not spraying it all over the place and broadcasting it on all my acreages of fences the old ranchers used to do this all the time they probably still do it all the time um, for all their posts that they use um, anymore a lot of them just buy pressure treated posts but back in the day they really couldn't do that and so um, this is the way they use it. and it works pretty good. So anyways, that's what we're going to do and I'll kind of show you how we do that. We're going to mix it 50-50 diesel fuel and use motor oil on the first coat and then on the second and third coat we'll probably just use a 75-25 mix or just straight motor oil.
Okay, so we have the end of our post burnt, and you can see charring the end of these posts like that seals the end grain. Apologize for the wind if you guys hear a lot of wind noise here. It's pretty cold and rainy. Um, summer went away, winter came back. So, but anyways, charring the end of these posts, charring the end grain seals the end grain. Um, it gets rotten decay and insects and it also seals, helps seal up the end grain for moisture and um, moisture permeation. We're going to top that off with our mixture of diesel fuel and motor oil. We'll go up three and a half feet because we're going to sink these in the ground about three feet. And you just mix it 50-50. I just got an old peanut jug here for my peanuts. And uh, that's all you do. We'll start painting it on and preserve these posts so we can stick them in the ground and they'll last a good long time. When I dug the holes over there they were all sand pretty much mostly sand and so that's also good. With the mixture of diesel fuel 50-50 it thins out the motor oil so it'll soak in and get a good, uh, that's why this first time we're mixing it 50-50. A lot of times them old timers would mix it 50-50 anyway, um, just because they like the look. And use motor oil from a diesel engine and use motor oil from a gasoline engine will give you different tones of brown and a different look. And you can also use actually new motor oil mix 50-50 with diesel fuel for an even different tone of brown and actually it looks pretty nice. I'm just kind of slopping it on here with an old paintbrush. Try not to get it all over me in the wind here. Actually, we'll actually coat the bottom as well. And when I burn the end of these posts, I mean, I really burn them. I mean, you can't be shy. A lot of people will do, they'll burn timber like they'll do that Sosuji bond. And the real technique of that is, is burning it, like burning the crap out of it. You gotta char it, alligator char burn. You can't just do like that old 70's style kind of half, half black, half brown look. You gotta char it. And then if you wanna reduce the effects of that char, you can heavy brush it off. And then you'll get the look you want. But. draw my line here it's really soaking up into the grain so it really works good now is this gonna last as long as a pressure treated post probably not is this gonna last as long as I need it to last probably um, there's old posts been in the ground that the old ranchers did this trick to that are still in the ground they've been in there 30 years you know what I mean the fencing is complete which is great and we'll get this shelter built I'll show you how we're gonna build that should be a pretty nice little structure. I'll show you a few tricks along the way to build one of those. And uh, hopefully you can try this little trick for some posts you need to use for a garden or whatever.